Hello, I will talk about how to do panel data models in SAS. So I have opened here the SAS software and I have opened the panel data models in SAS program uh, that I have created here. And on this side, I have already executed the program, so I have the results. So you can download the data as well as the program from my website. So um, let's look first at the data that we have. This is panel data and ID is the cross-sectional dimension and T is the uh, time series dimension. So we have individuals number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on until 595. And then we have time from one to seven. So we have seven years in the data. And then we would have um, the dependent variable here would be log of wage or L wage. And these are the values. And you can see how they change also for the individual. And then the independent variables would be experience. And you see how that systematically changes deterministically three to four to five to six to seven years from one year to the next or 30, 31 and so on for the second person. So this experience would be one of our independent variables, experience square, which happened to be here. And then we have weeks worked and education. And notice how education doesn't vary over time. We have the first person has nine years of education, second has 11, then he has 12, 10 years, and so on. That just doesn't vary over time. Okay, so here's how I'm reading the data in with PROC import. Uh, and here's, you can change the name of the file that you have and where the data file is located for you. Then what we can do is we can calculate the means for the data uh, including for ID, time, log wage, experience and experience squared, weeks, and so on. And here are the means and the standard deviations. Uh, the next thing we can do is uh, just do proc sort uh, the data and do that by ID and time. Um, so then we can run the pooled OLS estimator, which is just running an OLS regression. So that's accomplished by PROC REG, data equals data, and model would be L wage, and then you list here the independent variables, and here are the results that we have after we execute that. So again, we have higher experience leads to higher log wages. Okay. Um, we can also estimate the pool, pool less estimator in an alternative way, which is by using PROC panel instead of PROC reg. And then uh, for ID, we're giving it ID, which is the name of our variable, and T, which is the, the time series dimension. And here we, for model, we have L, log wage and then the independent variable, and then we have slash pooled. So this is for the pool less estimator. And if we look at the results here, um, these would be the results. And as you can see, they're exactly the same as the ones that we had before. Higher experience would lead to higher log wages. Okay, the next thing that we can do is calculate the between group estimator. And again, everything is the same as we had it before, except we would have the between uh, estimator here uh, and this is the command that would call the between estimator so if we uh, scroll down a little bit these would be the estimates that we have here for the between estimator now remember that um, we are for the between estimator we are calculating first the averages for each of the individuals and then just regressing those um, so we have here uh, this is, again, a positive and significant effect of experience on log wages. Um, the next thing to do is the fixed or within estimator. Same code as before, but we are putting here fixed one for the fixed effect estimator. Okay, and if we scroll down, this is the fixed one-way estimates. And... Notice one thing that we have here. Um, 
we we have these individual specific uh, effects the alpha eyes and they're summarized here the cross-sectional effects and if you scroll down they will be indeed 595 one for each um, we each observation and then we have the intercept and then we have the experience experience square and weeks and so on these are our independent variables so for your paper it's not necessary to, to report all the all the individual specific effects now notice again that we have a positive effect of experience on log wages but also notice that there is no uh, estimate for the education and the reason for that is that when we have a fixed effects estimator we have differences from its mean so if the education doesn't vary over over time for an individual person each year minus the mean would be zero and therefore we cannot estimate a coefficient here so you can estimate um, the uh, fixed effects or the within estimator using the um, another um, procedure the TSCS reg and if I scroll down um, these would be the results for that so we have again identical results just an alternative way to um, to estimate these models okay so um, the next thing to do is to calculate the the random effects estimator with PROC TSCS reg and you use the random one-way effects and the results are summarized here okay so we have the random effects and again we have a positive effect of experience on uh, log wages and we can also do the random effect estimator using proc panel and these are the results that we have here with again positive effect on experience on um, on log wages okay this was how to do panel data models in SAS thank you for watching